Hey, everybody. Uh, a really exciting weekend coming this this weekend uh, in NASCAR. Uh, we're in Charlotte, and we're on the roll. And we have seen year after year how difficult and challenging the Roval racetrack is. And on top of that, how much it means because we're in the playoffs. This year, it's even more difficult because changes happened at the Roval. If you look at turn five on the old course, all of that's pretty much the same. But what used to be a sharp right-hander, a blind corner, is now a straightaway. So now you're going to be building a great deal of speed. You make a right-hander into a very, very fast uh, corner that leads to another little curved straight. It's really not a straightaway. It's got a curve in it. And then that leads to essentially a 180-degree corner to get yourself back up on what is turn one on the oval at Charlotte Motor Speedway. That is a massive change. I think the challenges are going to be uh, how do you use turn six to set passes up in turn seven? How can you block passes in turn seven? Turn seven is going to be very slow. It's going to be from high speed to slow speed, and it's going to be while you're turning the car. And turn six is a very blind corner. That is very, very challenging. Uh, and, and it's going to be interesting to see how it affects the race. Uh, there's a change also on the front straightaway um, where, you know, they've made uh, the S's a little bit tighter. The chicane uh, turns 16. Uh, that is more of a 90-degree turn. I don't think that's going to make quite as big of a difference, except when you're side-by-side side over there, the track's going to be more narrow. So an already challenging racetrack uh, with changes, I think it's going to make it more challenging. And, of course, we're in the middle of playoffs. And uh, that makes the intensity ramp up, go through the roof, and if you look at the playoff standings, we have some very good road racers that need good days. Joey Logano, Daniel Suarez, Austin Chendick, Chase Briscoe. We know the success that Chase Elliott has had in his history on road courses, not as much with this car, but there's a lot of pressure going into this race. And there are people that are outside of that top eight that could win this race. It would not surprise me one bit for either one of those four guys outside of the top eight to win this race and completely shake it up. Uh, the guys at the top, those top three or four, they're in pretty good shape. Unless they have problems, they don't get stage points, other people have great days, you have a late race problem, uh, and we've seen it happen before. It's easy to get in wrecks. It's easy to have mechanical issues. So you go into this race feeling okay, but you know as a driver – Nothing's over until it's over. And why in this playoffs would you think any race is going to be normal? The amount of issues that drivers and teams have had in these playoffs is crazy. It shows you how the intensity is picked up. It shows you how when drivers know they have to step up, when they have to make something happen, teams have to make something happen, it pushes you over the edge. You're already operating right on the edge of control right on the edge of your capabilities. And now you got to go get more. And when you go get more, trouble's out there. Uh, and, and, and on top of that, we know the trouble of the role. So uh, I'm super excited about this weekend. It is a challenging weekend. I've learned uh, in my life that the more, it, it, the more challenging it is for the competitors, the more fun it is for us. And when I was a competitor, I liked it that way. And as a commentator, I like it that way. And as a fan, I've always liked it that way. So we're going to get plenty of that. Uh, and it all starts Sunday at 2 o'clock on NBC. Uh, I have a great pre-race show coming up this weekend. Tons to talk about. And then we go right into the race. And we know that's going to be exciting. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube channel.